Let's just rewind to October 2021. Annie Kloppenberg's fully electric tractor featured in our Return of the Leaf episode over on the main channel. But it's so fantastic, we thought it would be wise to give you the interview in full and let Annie explain a little bit more about how and why this amazing machine was built. So Annie, I've got to ask you about the tractor because sure. I know replacing the battery and that I wouldn't be able to do it, but essentially that was a fairly straightforward procedure. Absolutely. What you've done here. Yeah, it's something else entirely. That's, a, that's another Absolutely. step. This Taking would be another this, step. This is a monster. I mean, it's yeah. a big tractor anyway, but then you've... For sure. So it really is, there's no diesel engine. Nothing at all. There. So wow. this one is now 100% electric. Right. No hybrid, no diesel, nothing involved in that. And you'll see, so we've over the years kind of moved from, you know, our first cottage industry, which was like upgrading classics, yeah. making them electric. Uh, you know, cutting our teeth, getting a team together, having the early adopters be able to ride right. electric. But all this time, we wanted to move forward towards a you know market that would emerge yeah. for machines that have an actual job in town. Yeah. You know, that are doing 10, 15,000 liters of diesel, you know, yeah. a year. With all due respect for a beautiful Jaguar that I don't want to throw away and I want yeah. us to upcycle it, that's going to drive into town for an hour. It's going yes. to drive out of town for an hour, yeah. and it might probably be somebody's second or third car. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This machine, however, the reason it exists is that there are now large construction sites in town right. where to get the permit for the construction, you have to show that the part of transporting debris over the road and right. transporting building materials over the road can actually happen emission free. Right. Now this tractor is a big tractor, but it will be pulling a cart that holds 30 tons of material. Wow. And there's just no normal other way with trucks or that kind of thing to br bring yeah. that kind of stuff to and from. Yeah. But you go to the manufacturer of the tractor, or John Deere or anybody, and you would say, hey, we want the tractor fully electric. Yeah. And they're saying, hey, that, that road maps another five to 10 years. Right. And that's where the, the conversion comes into play. And we've been able to pack 360 kilowatt hours. So that would be commensurate to what? say four Tesla Model S's. Yeah. Energetically are in there. Wow. And so that means hauling, hauling about 30 tons, this tractor can do eight full hours of work, right. have a full day. Wow. At night, be charging electrically. Yeah. But during the day, be making sure that all that rubble and then all that building material for a couple of years gets to the site emission free. Right. right. Yeah. Wow. And so, yeah, this, is, this has been kind of where we're moving towards. And we're seeing that, especially in Holland, there's a mandate from the government for large road equipment, large building equipment, to, to diggers. And well, and also, you were talking, I remember when yeah. we were here before, yeah. you were talking about tugs on the like, tugboats on the canal and all that stuff. We've been doing a few of those, yeah. absolutely. And that's uh, also, once again, we have a lot of uh, harbors that need to be, um, the, the quayside needs to be redone. Right. But also building materials go into town. Yeah. And they can do it emissions free. Right. So um, in that energy transition, we've gone from, let's say, early adopter luxury. Yeah. Uh, into upcycling yeah. and not throwing things away and now into say you know relevance for industry yeah. yeah but then the thing that I'm equally intrigued by so you know the batteries is mind-boggling the scale of it but the actual drive system yes. on this so this would be would have been a four-wheel drive tractor it would it have been built. a full four-wheel drive so the original gearbox and the hydraulics is there right you've kept said, that in there we're not a factory so we haven't redesigned the full thing yeah. what we've said is it used to receive torque from a combustion process. Right. Let's have it receive torque from an electromagnetic right. process. So where the flywheel used to be, yeah. there's now an adapter, and our dual electric drive actually puts torque and RPMs to Into it in that. the same range that it thought. There used to be 160 kilowatt diesel. Now right. we have two electric motors, but actually we only need about 100 kilowatt continuous right. because we have this torque overload capacity that right. electric motors yeah, yeah. have, that yeah. instant acceleration. Right. So you can get away with smaller motors, which wow. is good yeah. because we had all the extra stuff. Yes. You know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it weighs a bit more now, right. you know, a bit porky. But, but in, in a yeah. sense, for something like that, yeah. the weight is giving you more traction. I mean, it's not exactly. a big disadvantage. Is this it? had never been a top speed vehicle. No. This was a torque vehicle. Yeah. You know, a tractor, it won't go fast, but you want to hook up the world yes, and, and pull, pull it. along. You know? yeah. <laughs> which, yeah. which it'll do yeah. quite happily. Yeah. So right. the original gearbox is there, but that also means all the original computers are there. Right. And that's where you get with modern machinery and trying to upgrade them. Basically, there's 30,000 sensors, and one of them loses its mass airflow it, or its it throttle command. It goes command. into a panic, yeah. It goes into an absolute <laughs> You know, and, and you got Christmas lights all <laughs> over you and sounds coming at you. So really the conversion process was a software process. Right, yeah. You're telling the computers at the same time, you're fine, yeah. here's your RPM, here's yeah. your temperature, here's your oil pressure. Yeah. There's no oil in there's the no oil. There's, 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 there's oil, oil pressure. pressure, you're fine. <laughs> Do 
because I'm so old, I can only understand in horsepower. But what it what the horsepower it had as a diesel sure. and what it has now. Yeah. It, it sounds like it's got slightly less, but it doesn't Absolutely. matter. It's so quite intriguing. The thing is that with um, gas or uh, diesel powered machines, the horsepower or the kilowatt rating was always a peak. Yes, rating, when you know? it was a, yeah, when you were and thrashing. we try and always say, well, what's my continuous? So even though this one used to do maybe say, let's let's call it 140 kilowatt continuous it had, right. and I have 100 now. Right. This is a torque machine. Yeah. So it used to provide about 600 Newton meters to the flywheel. Right. We have at least 950 Newton meters on tap. Right. So what have we done? We've actually told our machine that if you operate it by hand or if you operate it by foot and you step on it, that the software knows not to put so much pressure that right. the hydraulics start shooting out of yeah. its ears. Yeah. 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 So torque for torque, RPM for RPM, this machine has more of what it actually needs. Right. It has a little bit less top end horsepower. Yeah. But the machine was never made for that. Yeah, the yeah. size of the diesel motor was to be able to get something going. Yeah. And we have more of that on tap. But what's really impressive is that you've managed to convert a, a very new vehicle yes. that is highly sophisticated, yeah. that is riddled with sensors and computer Absolutely. systems and software, and you've managed to do that. Because yeah. that's always been the, you know, the, all the people who convert yeah. classic cars go, can it be pre-1990, you know, because well, exactly. of all the computers and electronics? And if you look at the, 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 the passion, the raison d'etre for this conversion of a classic car to exist, it is to not throw away that which yeah. was nostalgic. Yeah. So then it plays into each other. Yeah. Yes, you take the most analog car because that's the car that's the oldest and it's the most yeah. loved. But we always felt with going electric, and we had it with your leaf, yeah. everybody said, yes, it's electric, but it can only go so far. Yeah. So if going electric means, you know, uh, um, losing function, Nobody's ever going to really accept it. Yeah. So we could have taken a tractor, a 1980s, 1990s, chassis still there, give it a new spray, and make it electric. Yeah. But everybody would have said, no, no, no. For actual working in town, I'm used to having air conditioning. For actual working yeah. in town, I'm used to having GPS sat now. Yeah. And you're making me, you know, lose function, yeah. making me give it up. So we had to get in on the ground floor. Yeah. And the ground floor right now for this kind of machine means computerized assist, right. means climate control. Yeah. So there was no way of going back to the analog counterpart and yeah. saying, well, here's your electric offer. Yes. Yeah. And everybody would say, well, that's a technology demonstrator. It yeah. does not yeah. me a day work provide, yeah. you know? whereas this does. Yeah. yeah no, fantastic. Yeah. No, well, congrats. I mean, it looks suitably beefy. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and in all honesty, we did have to, you know, uh, stretch, it's, it's, stretch the, the envelope a yes, little bit, I you know, see, and then yeah. respray. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks fabulous. Aaron. No, it's it really great. Does. No, Absolutely. Really... No, great to show it. Well, there you have it, a custom 100% electric tractor that can pull tons. Thank you to Annie and New Electric for showing us this, and please make sure you subscribe to Fully Charged Plus. Well, thank you very much for watching that episode. Robert's just offset having his daily rub down. So while he's doing that, allow me to ask you to watch this episode down here. It's very similar to the one you watched. This episode is our most recent. Here is a link to subscribe to the channel. And this is a link to our Patreon. Bye.